The opinions expressed on this program are solely those of the hosts and their guests and may or may not be shared with the staff and management of this network. Go Fleet Talk! Broadcasting from the world-famous Haunted Winery here in Warren, Michigan, this is Ghostly Talk on June 7, 2009. Go Wings, go Wings, go Wings! Bonnie's not in the studio. Where the hell is she at this week? Damn it! She's pooped from cheering on the wings. So... So I'm going to read this part. Ghostly Talk is independently produced every Sunday night from 6 to 9 p.m. Eastern Time to converse about all things paranormal. For more info, go to www.ghostlytalk.com. And tonight, we're going to talk Haunted Missouri with Jason Offutt. Mm. And then later, finally, again, Marshall Masters returns. <laughs> I, I did that today. Had to. How do you get anything productive done on Sundays anymore? Um, I walked in with 15 minutes to go before they closed. Yeah. So I tipped big. I had to. <laughs> I, I mean, the thing is, I worked literally all day yesterday. You were talking about that. So I don't have time even on weekends to get my stuff done. I don't. So, Yeah. Yeah. It's been one of those weeks. You know, I was we we were sitting around yesterday. Mm-hmm. And I was, you know, I, I had just gotten off of like 15 hours worth of work. Mm-hmm. And we're sitting around and uh and I'm like I didn't say this, but my my friend says, "Do you want to go to the train wreck site?" And I'm like, "Oh gosh, yes." But EJ said that, didn't he? Yes. I okay. said, gosh, yes, but... You can say EJ on the air. Well, I know. But, but Bonnie isn't here. Yeah. <laughs> yay. No, I mean, not yay. No secret that Bonnie does not like EJ. Cause, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 a incompatible. it's a strange thing we got yeah. going on there, but yeah, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, keep going. We have our own drama, but... <laughs> but the difference between us and most other people is that we can control oh, it and yes, monitor it. Well, not only that, we also don't exacerbate it. Right. Well, except like we right don't now. go on. We don't go on to the. We don't go on to the the Satan space and start. You know, no, saying in no, uh, public like posts and it's like, like that. Man, no. But um, but no. The so he's like, Dude, we should go to train wreck. I said, oh, that sounds great. But it's like you know, 8 p.m. Right. And I've got to get something to eat because I haven't eaten literally all day, and yeah, that's not yeah. good for you. So I'm so I said, let's let's do this. Let me finish up what I'm doing here. I I was trying to get my laptop to work on Sprint. Mm-hmm. And um, I finished that about 9.20. Uh, and so we hop in the car, and he's like, look, I, I really don't think, because I wanted to go to that famous place that has fried chicken, right? He goes, I don't think they're going to be open. Well, I was in the mood, right? Yeah. Uh, so I said, well, let's just drive over that way and see what else is around there. So we drove over that way mm-hmm. and, uh, you know, before going ghost hunting, right? Yeah, yeah. So we drove over that well, way. Crap, you went ghost hunting, but keep and, going. <laughs> and, uh, and we found this other place that's similar to it. It's like a knockoff of it. Okay. Yes. It's called, um, well, I'm not going to say what it's called. Uh, although they have the absolute, somebody might know this, but, you know, know what it's called based on 
my description of what we got. We got this uh, literally a bucket kind of thing. It's not a bucket. It was more like a one of those styrofoam container things. Chock full of potato wedges. They're just little tiny little potato wedges. And uh, they were literally swimming in butter. So it was like oh. potato wedge soup, right? Yeah. Which is very similar to my specialty, popcorn soup, which is my favorite thing on the planet. Popcorn oh, soup. It kills me. Yes, it's where you take Oh, no, I've had Doug's popcorn yeah. soup. Many, uh, many a moon ago, I've had Doug's popcorn soup before. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you pretty much need a glove to eat my popcorn soup. And um, yeah, like beca- a, <laughs> because I literally a I mean, pound of hand wipes, okay. yes, and a shower, yes, I <laughs> a hot shower, yes. Describe this, will you, please? Well, what I do is I I I pop popcorn the old-fashioned way on the stove. Yeah, the which thing, is cool. Right? Which is I think it's like so yeah. like. So you pop the pop. Anti-establishment, right? Because there. everybody like, now they just pop the thing yeah, in the microwave, microwave and yeah. it goes kind of blah, 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 and then it tastes like crap. No, no, no. This is like old school. I like real it. popcorn. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, real. Very popcorn rustic. Kernel. Yeah, yeah. Uh, done in in a real pan yeah. on a real stove with real fire and yeah, yeah. and and real oil. You know, popcorn oil yeah, and stuff. Yeah. And so so I, I make popcorn and then I dump it into a, a if I have one a paper bag. Mm-hmm. I know it's probably not good for the environment, but that, hey, it's better than throwing the paper bag away, right? So the paper bag will be useless by the time it when it goes through. The oh, when it's way, done so making popcorn soup, I, I can think of no way to recycle yeah. a paper bag that's filled with, with popcorn <laughs> soup. Yes. So then I dump the popcorn in there, right? And then I and then I start preparing it. Mm-hmm. And this takes literally five to ten minutes. You you have to drizzle butter, mm-hmm. melted butter, real Liquefied. butter. Liquefied. Yeah, real butter. It must be real butter. None of that. I can't believe it ain't crap stuff. This yes. is the real stuff, yes. man. Yes, and you drizzle it on top all around, and then and then you then you shake some, you know, either popcorn salt or regular iodized salt. Because iodized salt is, even though it's bad for blood pressure if you've got that issue, uh, you need salt in your diet. Yeah. And I get, I never cook with salt except for popcorn. I, I eat my food bland all the time. Yes. I never use salt. Uh, it's, I think once in the past two years I've used salt, right? Mm-hmm. I, mm-hmm. Except for on popcorn. And so I, you know, I shake the salt around. Then you have to shake it. Mm-hmm. You know, and then that, you know, that distributes that a little bit. Then you drizzle again. Mm-hmm. And then you salt again, just very, very lightly. Shake mm-hmm. it up. Mm-hmm. Drizzle. So by the time you're done, now if you had enough popcorn to fill like half the bag of, uh, you know, half the brown paper bag, right? Yeah, yeah. Now you're down to maybe an inch and three quarters of popcorn left. Yeah. Because it's literally Liquified. liquid. Yeah, it, it's like, and and so you reach and you get these these gooey, drippy popcorn oh, curls God, yeah. that are perfectly salted at this point. Mm-hmm. Um, and, oh, that's my favorite. I used to make that in, uh, college. But, of course, in college, I hardly ever gained weight because I was active. And now, if either one of us touched that, we'd <laughs> blow up like a couple of balloons. Yeah, probably. now I touch it. I'm no good for three days. Forget it, yeah. Um, but... So I can't it, remember the last time you made popcorn soup. Oh, it's been a while. Yeah. I, I have made popcorn, but I have not made popcorn soup popcorn in soup. a while. But, um, <laughs> yeah, so so they made these um, at this chicken place, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They They gave you this container of these absolutely um, heaven sent glorious uh, yes glorious uh, uh, potato wedges drowning in butter like like when you picked one up you could see the butter run off of it and down into the oh my gosh it was phenomenal and uh, anyway so, so we had a bucket of chicken there were like 16 pieces mm-hmm. Now, they weren't as big as the famous brand chain they yeah. were teeny little things not quite wings but not quite. Um, not quite a, a real piece of chicken, right? Yeah. Not foghorn leghorn. Chicken. Right. Yeah. This yeah. was more like you know foghorn leghorns, like little runt children. Okay. You know? <laughs> and and they uh, so these little tiny legs, these little tiny thighs, these little tiny everything. Mm-hmm. I had ten of them. I I just ah! went to freaking ten. Now it was broasted. It was broasted. So it wasn't it wasn't like, horrible for you. Yeah, yeah. Well, the chicken wasn't horrible for me. <laughs> the, the, the potato wedge. The potato wedge. The potato soup. wedge yeah. soup. Yeah. That was pretty bad. But uh, but yeah. So so we ate that. By the time we were done with that, yeah. there was no way we'd go to the train wreck. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, I can't even move. Well, speaking of popcorn, this has to be mentioned because you mentioned the popcorn soup. Yes. Uh, we went and saw oh. Angels and Demons last night. Oh, Angels did you? Yeah, Amber, Amber and Tom and I went and saw Angels and Demons which is the tail end of 
I have to. We got plenty of time tonight, so mm-hmm. we're, we're going to talk about our you know last weekend. We got a lot of stuff I want to cover. To, you know, yeah, we can talk about the two tonight. conferences last. Yeah, weekend. yeah, yeah. We got a lot of these, but but I got to. I'll start at the end, and I guess we'll start whatever. We'll just figure it. Out. We'll go. We'll figure it out as we go along. Um, but it's you mentioned the popcorn thing. Whenever we go to the theater, yeah, Amber always has to get popcorn. Right, it's, I do too. It's a necessity. I do too. Well, the theater we go to out on her side of town always they they have a, the coolest theater. It's actually like it's like it's a cheap theater, but they have like new movies. It's like it's a rarity. Like here you get you want to go to a even a matinee, you're going to pay out twenty bucks for two people yeah, easy. Exactly. But this one you can get it's like under ten bucks. You can get a movie for two and popcorn. It's wow. Like and, a, and a and a drink also. It's like wow. a sick deal. So there is there is a real like. There's a, there's a process that we have to go through every time we go to the theater because Amber gets her popcorn bucket right or the bag the yeah it's bag now a bag now. yeah yeah so but they have the bag um, and normally what she's always done is they have like those specialty salts now like the white cheddar flavor as a matter of fact I just bought like four flavors of popcorn yeah. salt wait yeah. this is this, or popcorn top it all comes together this, okay. this is a really cool conversation so I know what you're talking about well, yeah so they have the little things and. She actually gets the thing, and she pours it on top of the thing, and then she always gets a little plastic cup thing, too. Okay. And she takes and puts a whole bunch in there, too, right? And then she get and then she puts a little cap on it, and she cuts a whole... This goes on at the theater. This isn't like any, you know... This happens at the theater while I'm sitting there, like, looking at my watch, going... She makes a popcorn topping... Yeah, yeah. Shaker. A shaker at the theater while I'm waiting to get... While the previews are playing. You know, I'm... It's cool, come on, right? And she puts this whole thing together, and this is her thing, you know... Because she cannot have one bite of popcorn without her white cheddar salt on there. That's her right, favorite. Right, right. Well, yesterday we were like, we. Well, Next time you two come over, I bought white cheddar okay. popcorn topping. Okay. Yeah. Let her know. Because yeah. if you need to get rid of it, it'll be gone. <laughs> so, basically, w- okay. I should have bought two. <laughs> what, and one of the many things we did this weekend, we had a couple hours before the film, so we were kind of like, okay, let's go walking. Well, it started to rain. Oh, crap. What do we do now? Let's go find a department store to walk around aimlessly at and just kill time. Well, Tom's like, well, I need to get some things anyway. So I'm like, okay, cool, right? So we went there, and Amber's like, oh, I got an idea. And Tom's like, what? And I'm like, oh, God, you know, what is this going to be? Uh, and how about we buy the stuff here, the, the, the dispenser things here? Yeah. And, and so we can have them with us at the theater. Now, this is much like when you were in high school when you wanted to go and sneak alcohol into the theater. Right. They're sneaking in flavoring salts into the theater. <laughs> Adults are so fun. Exactly. Yeah. I'm like, this is so <laughs> pathetic, right? So they buy, you know, Tom buys his, I think it was the jalapeno cheddar, and then Amber bought her white cheddar, and they brought them in there. Of course, they had to use the the, the, the ones stuff. that are there. They yeah. use that stuff yeah. there for. And then but this looks for when you get down, like, three quarters yeah, of the way yeah, or yeah. a quarter of the way through, then you've got nothing left there. Exactly. Yeah. So, but, so uh, during the film, though, it's hilarious. I'm here, hey, pass the salt. Pass the salt. And I'm just thinking to myself, like, 20 years ago, I'm sorry, 15 years ago, it had been like, hey, dude, pass the jack, dude. <laughs> pass the jack. You know, and I've been with friends that have puked in theaters. I mean, I've seen it all. I've seen yeah. sick stuff go down in theaters. So it was just, it's funny you mention that because that's Amber's thing. With, I with have to go to a movie now. I Because what I'm going to do is I will take. You'll bring yours, too. I'll bring I'll bring mine and because uh, and, I've got several. Of, I, I actually bought actual popcorn salt as well. It's not flavored. It's just popcorn salt. Yeah. And then I got the white cheddar. And I, I bought everything except the ranch because ah, I personally the, despise the, ranch. The, and, I, I, don't, yeah. I like ranch on a lot of things, but not. On popcorn. Yeah, there's some things I Frankly, just, I, I'm one of those people, one of the rare people, that when I buy popcorn now, I buy the, the plain, like the boring, old, plain popcorn. Yeah. Which I so I like the flavor of popcorn. I don't I don't really need to have it salt's good on it, butter's good on it too. Um but I just don't need that anymore. Right. Now I have to roll back here cuz we, okay. we, we talked about that that was just something that comes very tight. That was just amazing. Yeah. Now I have to mention this cuz we weren't on the air last weekend. I mentioned I think I mentioned loosely that I was working on we were talking about we've talked about it over the last couple of weeks that Yes, we have. The certification thing I've been working on. Yes, you've for, been working to improve yourself. Yeah. Yeah, and I am happy to announce that um, May 27th, which was a couple weeks ago, a week and a half ago, I took my certifications, and I am now a certified SysP admin. Now I passed my exam. Yay! Yay! I have to gloat. Deal with it, people. I'm I have so to proud of you. So what does that mean, though? 
But I, well, yeah, it's a very good thing. You know, there's all kinds of you know cool things that will hopefully come as a result of the work I put into that. But uh, well, what do you do as a result of something? Well, you party, right? You party your head yeah, off. So, yeah. well, one of the things, and you know, we had some fun uh, over the last weekend, but we were all pretty busy with just running around doing the ghostly talk stuff. So, it, you know, we didn't get to party as much as I wanted to. We we had a good time though. We had fun. We had fun with Tanya and Allie. Uh, oh yeah. It was a Friday night at the hotel room. We were just just dropping wine all over the place, and it, it got, it got <laughs> kind of it got, it got kind of goofy. But this weekend was the, was I guess this was the party weekend because I got out we're at to Amber side of town, and she's like, "Okay, we're going to the grill room tonight, and I'm going to pay for dinner." Okay. Now, Sweet. now the grill room. I think I don't know if I ever mentioned our, our grill room experience thing. The grill room is this restaurant, and I'll pimp them because they're, they're they're a hell of a restaurant. It's a restaurant in, in Grand Haven that um it's a it's a high end steakhouse. I mean, you know. mm-hmm. now we we started going there. We had a two for twenty special, the white trash special, right? Yeah, um, <laughs> of course. So then you get, but it was a sweet deal. You get a whole carop, which is like a bottle of wine, and then you get um a four ounce steak for each of you, and then you get a choice of two. Of two uh, vegetable, like a potato, and then a vegetable, right. which we split up, right? Uh, and then you get a salad too, right? So for twenty something, you know, whatever you, you, you it's twenty thirty bucks, you get this really wicked meal, right? Right. Well, Amber's like, well, they don't have that thing going anymore, but I know you, you're, you know, I want to, I want to treat you for your, for your, for your, uh, you know, your, your certification, right? So like, okay, cool. So we go there, um, and you know, they're. Let's just keep it brief. We ended up tying a nasty buzz on. It was hilarious, right? Because <laughs> it was me and Amber and her cousin Chrissy and her boy, her, Chrissy's boyfriend Jeremy, who actually works there, ironically enough, too. Uh, but he was there and he was just hooking it up. We, so, you know, wow. we walked out of there pretty lit. It was fun, right? That was pretty cool. That, that, we had a good time. We had a hell of a meal. Seventy-seven dollar tab for the between me and Amber. Wow. Hey, she paid for it. I, yeah. I paid the tip. I felt bad. Yeah. So, you know, whatever. So, okay, fine. Um, now, Friday night. This is where it got interesting. That was just less than half of the cost of the certification exam. <laughs> Pretty much. Well, wait. It gets better. Well, with tip, it probably It, it was, gets better right? because Friday night, we ended up bumping into a friend of ours um, who says, hey, you know, let's, let's catch up. Let's go to dinner. This was Friday night. Right? Yeah. Okay. So we ended up going to the place next door to the grill room. Ah. Another restaurant called Theater Bar. We go in there, and it's happy. We got there about 20 after 5, and they had happy hour till 6. Ooh. So... Our friends like perfect. Yeah, we got to pile the drinks on before happy hour. Yeah, so they're half off. Yeah, which they, it's kind of expensive there for wine. So we end up like lining up four drinks, you know, in a half an hour. Wow, good job. Now I, I it was it was one of those situations, and I'm sure you've you've experienced this when you, you get in the in 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 the midst of a good drinking session, mm-hmm. where you just kind of look around and go, this would never happen if I was sober. This could never happen <laughs> if I was sober. <laughs> Because um, we're at a table round with like, with a with a lot of very interesting people. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, people I would I've never talked to before. They're all new people I'd never met before, and they were really cool people. But they were all like so different from who I am, right? And they were asking the questions about ghost hunting and stuff like that. So we were having a really actually a really cool conversation on, on ghost hunting and the paranormal. Um, I have another drink, you know, on top of after happy hour. Have a meal, have appetizers. Here comes the bill, another seventy-five dollar bill for us. Right? Wow! <laughs> to which I pay. I'm like, okay, look out, I'll pay for this one. All right. <laughs> so we 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 take care of that thing. I'm going to the bathroom. It's like, oh my god, dude, oh, wow, this is a cool. <laughs> <laughs> so they get the. Let's go down to the art gallery. I I never go to art galleries. Right. That sounds like a fantastic idea. <laughs> Let's go down to the art gallery. So here comes all of us, and, like, and we're, half of us are in the bag. So we're just stomping down the street, just knocking people out of our way. And we get down to the art gallery, and I go stomping in there, you know, and I'm in my usual dubs, you know, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm in my regular day clothes. Um, and I just start talking to people. We just go in there and start talking to people about art. And I'm meeting the people that actually have some paintings there, and, I'm, and we're, we're looking at them. And I'm like, yeah, you know, I love the way you use purple in that. It's it's, it's awesome. I love, you know, because I appreciate art, for real. But I just, yeah. I don't, it's rare that I get a chance to really, to really, you know, you know, spread my, you, oh, dude, I love that Priest album. You know, like that art, right? Okay. But, I mean, you know, some art that's on a wall to look at that. Right. So we're there with all these cool people. And, I mean, me and a couple of, a couple of people were just, like, just diving into conversations. They were just really interesting. And probably because I was half in the bag, I was just loaded pretty much at that time. So it really kicked in. <laughs> so then we're done. And we're, and we're, you know, we leave there. We're, oh, guys, it was nice hanging out with you. It's only, like, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock at night, right? So Amber and I are like, okay, we need to, like, walk this thing off. So we go walk on the pier, which is just hilarious. Because everybody's funny now. 
Right. Everybody's, everybody's making me laugh, right? Yeah. So we walk, we walk, do a four mile walk there and back. Wow. On the pier, loaded. I've never done this before. I mean, we're on open water. Why would you put an idiot like me on open water? <laughs> But we made it back. We come back, so we come back to town, and we're like, okay, well, geez, it's like you know, ten o'clock now or something. You know, what do we do now? So we go by, and we go by the grill room. Yeah, it all comes back around. Right? <laughs> Our friend Jeremy's working there now, and I run up to the window, and I see Jeremy, and I'm like doing the hobo thing on the window with, with the with the steam. And he's like, get in here, dude, get in here. I'm like, okay, cool. So we go stomping in there, and. Just strawberry sangrias, just one after another. Oh, my gosh. One after gosh. another. And then all these other people start coming in there and hanging out, right? Because, like, technically the place was closed, but it wasn't because he was letting people in there. Yeah. And he was serving us. And we were just, you know, just – I met some guy named Horace. How would – I would never be a man named Horace if I was sober. Right. Straight up. Right. It would never happen. I've it never met a man happen. named Horace who was really cool and who kept just buying us one shot after another. Wow. Right? I don't even know where it's. I can't. You had to be there. It's one of those had to be there things. But I'm looking around, going, dude. I I look at Amber. I'm like, this is the craziest stuff I've ever seen. <laughs> what the hell happened to us tonight, right? Um, and basically, I mean, we got out of there and got home. And um, you know, thankfully, Amber was the smart one of us and really took it. You know, didn't do anything after that. So she was stone cold sober. We did not drive drunk. Uh, but me, oh, I was a stupid wreck. She had to pour me into the car and get me home. And I, I hit the bed. I don't remember anything after that. I just, I just oh, I got passed man. out. Or so I got, I got up yesterday and did another five mile walk. Um, just, to, just to walk the hangover off, I guess, which yeah. it seemed to work, but I was groggy all day. But I was just, you know, just a stupid wreck. Dumb wreck uh, Friday night. I haven't done that in a very, very long time. Well, since September of last year, because I know somebody's going to call me out probably in the chat room or, or okay, somewhere. But you did but do September of last year, Scott, you were having the bet. I wasn't wasted, though. I was right. stupid Friday. So <laughs> that, I guess I got it out of my system now. The celebration's over with. I have to get back to actually thinking about future stuff now. But Yeah. Yeah, so we, we took care of that thing. <laughs> Yes, you did. Two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars later, we took care of it. And you did the party, the requisite partying, which is awesome. Yeah, and I have to say congratulations. That's quite an accomplishment. Oh yeah. Well, thank. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm with you now. Yeah. The same certification. (laughs) But no. uh, Yeah. So that that thing's done. Uh, Yeah. I had to. But it just kind of all came together because you mentioned the popcorn thing. Because like you know, last night it was like, okay, look, I don't even want to look at alcohol. We should have a popcorn fest. I I don't want to think about. Yeah. Yeah, that's actually a good idea, too. I think it would be fun. So we just took it easy. And it would be better than, you know, an alcohol fest. Yeah. Well, not one. Well, so it depends on it depends depends the soup or regular popcorn. <laughs> no, we, no, just, we, we just went and saw a movie popcorn. last night, though. That's kind of how we ended up last night. We went and just saw a movie. And how was the movie? Oh, it was good. I, lo- I, I, I enjoyed The Da Vinci Code. I mean, I've read both books, and they were really cool books. Um, I actually liked Angels and Demons as a film better than The Da Vinci Code, mm-hmm. but I liked The Da Vinci Code book as a book better than Angels and Demons. A ah. weird cross thing there. But Angels and Demons was a very, very cool, very cool movie. Um, if you like a good, you know, fl- it's about a two and a half hour film, too. It's wow. A, it's a long film. Um, but yeah, it was it was a good thing and it was nice to stay sober. <laughs> well, I, haven't, I haven't had time to go see any movies. I, I, I want to see the, what's the new Will Ferrell movie with the uh, Lost World, Under, Lost, I'm Lost. Lost, I, Round, I, Lost, Under, No. Land of the Lost. He puts out ah. a new movie like every 15 minutes. I can't keep up. Yeah. <laughs> well, even that Seth Rogen guy, they're in like every single yes, film that comes are. out yes, now. Yes, they are. Like, I want to see Land of the Lost. Haven't seen that. I want to see, obviously, Angels and Demons. I haven't seen that. I Transformers is coming out. I have not seen Drag Me to Hell, the Sam Raimi movie, and I've I want to see it. that. There's a lot. Out I heard that's really good. Well, summertime's here, and this is when all the films come out. That's yeah. Really yeah. Big time. I'm going to see Transformers. I'm not missing Transformers. No, that's one that I'm not missing. Public Enemies. I mean, let's talk I've about, not let's even let's heard of that about, one. So, uh, what's his name? Johnny Depp. Okay, he plays John Dillinger. Come on. Oh, oh I did hear about that. Johnny Depp's another one of my man crushes. Him and Daniel Day Lewis. <laughs> Daniel Day Lewis is my well, main man crush, but Johnny well, Depp, man, woo! I'll have you know that Bonnie, who's not here today because of uh, sheer exhaustion, actually. She's, uh, yeah, she's from between work and the Red Wings. Yeah, this is not. I mean, it's, it's quite a month. Mm-hmm. Um, but her, uh, she has a Johnny Depp poster. The only thing is, mm-hmm. it's so funny. Uh, it was a gift from Sean the Ghost Man Burris, yep. right? Yeah. Uh, to her for I think her birthday. Mm-hmm. I 
either last year or the year before. I don't remember. Yeah. Anyway, so it's this poster that was made. And the only thing is, is it says on it, Johnny Deep. Oh, cool. So whoever the artist was did this phenomenal job, right, on this phenomenal poster, drawing this thing. Yeah. And then Miss Bell Johnny Depp's name, but, uh, but she is absolutely totally in love with her Johnny Deep I poster. Think the right person, right? Yeah, that is Johnny Depp. I, yeah. I, I mix up that. Yeah, Johnny Depp. He was in uh, Pirates of the Caribbean and all that fun stuff. Yep. He plays Benny John Benjamin. Dillinger. Come yeah. on, that's going to be sweet. Oh, that's going to be awesome. Um, and Glorious Bastards is another film that's coming out pretty soon. I don't know what Quentin that Tarantino. Oh, I won't watch it. Oh, no, man. A new no. Quentin Tarantino film. It's yeah. always a celebration around it's this house. It's the creepy kind that I don't watch. Well, this is supposed to be a, this is a war film with uh, Brad Pitt. I've never been into war films either. We'll have to convert you sometime. <laughs> we'll have to make you watch a Quentin Tarantino film. And just Are there any the paranormal films coming up other than Transformers? I'm putting Transformers in every category because everyone's going to go see Everybody's going to see it. Yeah. It rules. I mean, <laughs> so, you talk so about I'm putting, that even, I'm putting that in drama. And you couldn't lose know, when they get Transformers movies because you got all the old guys like me that are just like, yeah. <laughs> I'm all about that. I think all the kids that are like, yeah, I love it. You know, they, I mean, Transformers are a timeless thing. Yeah. Uh, and they're doing another film. Uh, I remember before they came out. Mm-hmm. I, I, I remember before they came out also. Yeah. I'm not, I mean, I'm <coughs> oh, okay. that well, much younger than you are, really. You are younger than so me. So I remember when GoBots came out, and they're like, oh, that's, you know, and then Transformers came out, and they're like, oh, this is like, you know, GoBots are like white trash Transformers. Cause <laughs> GoBots were way, like, you know, they were not nearly as cool. They right. didn't have all the accessories. Right. They were way more expensive. So you, you had to have all that crap. You know yeah. what I mean? So, yeah, Transformers, I'm going to definitely see that. But, yeah, there is a lot of, there are a lot of films coming out that are going to be really cool. But, yeah, check out Angels and Demons. I had a, I mean, that's about as paranormal as you're going to get right now. I yeah, think, that's, you know? that's all, like, what, conspiracy. It's all conspiracy. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a really great book. I, I love that Angels and Demons was a fantastic book. I don't have time to read the book. Uh, when I used to have time to read books, I actually did. When you work 15 hours a day, and stuff, <laughs> it's difficult, and only get paid for none on a Saturday. Yeah, so we got a couple minutes before we go to break here. Um, we got another half an hour. <laughs> we really well, uh, per usual, next... my stories like they always go through like one segment, so I apologize. <laughs> I mean, that's just well, coming happens. up in the next half hour, we we do want to talk about the pecan and with. Yeah, so. yeah. Right, we we want to talk about several things. There's um, a lot of stuff that we gotta, we gotta talk about tonight. Yeah, yeah uh, so there's there's plenty plenty to talk about. Yeah, so yeah, it's it's been an interesting week. Uh, I know you were pretty cooked. Yeah, I know yeah. you're pretty cooked right now. Well, do you know last Friday? So we'll get a, a jump, a, a head start jump on pecan and with. I, I just yeah, it's fine. It. We went to pecan. It was fun and everything like yeah, that. And we'll, we'll describe it. We'll describe. It. We'll tell more in the half hour, the next half hour, but. Uh, at the end of the day, we, we drove up to uh, Mansfield, right? Yeah. You guys we were going to meet up with, you know, Jay Gow and uh, Tim and Trish yeah, and yeah. whoever. And uh, I went to bed. I well, I know. Went. I heard about that. I was, like, was he mad at us? What happened? I was just spent. Well, it was... We got out there about 10 o'clock, and Mr. Scott Sukel, the man. We yeah. don't know Mr. Scott yeah. Sukel. Uh, he, uh, you know, he was there to greet me. At the front doors, which they have done so much to Mansfield Reformatory. Oh, it's amazing. It's a totally different place down there. It's not different as in bad. I mean, they've really done a lot of renovations, and the place looks just phenomenal still. I mean, they're doing a great job out there. And um, basically, I was able to go out there, and I was volunteering. I didn't didn't stay the whole night. um, Right. But I volunteered for a couple hours and walked around and talked to people, and I showed them stuff and did whatever, you know, and whatnot. And it it was a really cool time. But I know you were just like... I just was so tired, I went to bed. Well, we were At all pretty, we were all pretty burnt, you know, having a cruise straight from from Dayton all the way over to Mansfield, which you know, in and of itself isn't a very long drive. But when you're you know you've been humping it all day long, yeah, you're pretty cooked. Yeah. So <laughs> why don't we take a quick break? Because I want to get into this stuff. Let's, 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 we'll segment it a little bit here. Well, that's what we're gonna. We'll start with that when we come back. And then we'll talk about my exhausting time last weekend. <laughs> but <laughs> I, I think it's a good idea. But yeah, that's we'll, what we'll do. We'll totally uh, we'll do that and. Uh, uh, there's a host of other things that I want to mention here. That, uh, some cool people we met last weekend. I want to talk about a little bit. Uh, just just all kinds of stuff. This is Ghostly Talk. I'm Scott Allen. And I'm Doug. We'll be right back after this. Ghostly Talk! <laughs> Shadow governments. Strange rituals. New world Shadow order. governments. Strange rituals. New planetary world order. Planetary mind control. Planetary cover-up. 
Shadow government. Strange rituals. New world order. Very treasure. When I turn behind things like that. When I turn behind things like that. Corporate interests. Chasing the treasures. Genesis. Corporate interests. When I turn behind things like that. Presidential assassination. Pyramids. Population. Pyramids. 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 Out there. Out there. Out there. Out there. Out there. It's a strange world. Visit outthereradio.net for more information. Hey, it's Wolfman Mac with Wolfman Max Nightmare Cinema. We host classic B horror and sci-fi movies, all the good stuff that you grew up with as a kid. And we show them every single month here in the Detroit area. But guess what, boys and girls? It's coming to you soon via the internet. To find out more, visit www.nightmarecinema.com. That's S-I-N-E-M-A. It's Wolfman Mac. Scare you later, babies. want to dive into the bizarre world of the paranormal? Do ghosts, UFOs, or the supernatural amaze you to the point of wanting to learn more? Well then, you need BVRN, the Black Vault Radio Network. With more than 1,200 hours of on-demand talk radio, syndicated from more than 35 shows, the Black Vault Radio Network is your one-stop shop for the world of the unexplained. Check us out and tune in 24 hours a day at www.blackvaultradio.com. Again, that's www.blackvaultradio.com. Seamless break. We just kind of walked out for a couple minutes. And <laughs> that worked out very well. Walked wild. back in here and it was time to go back on. Don't forget, all uh, all music for oh, yeah. Talk is independent music. They mm-hmm. record it on their own dime and their own, you know, sometimes in their own studio, sometimes they buy recording time. Mm-hmm. It's all people who are. You know, independent artist. Independent artist, yeah, definitely. Support Check that out. And I always like people always send me emails and stuff like that and they say, Well, what band played that? And if you go down to the bottom left corner of our site, you scroll down a little bit, you'll see all the music for that week is always put up on our website. Even yeah. the bumps, even the liner stuff, not just the full songs, but just even the liners are on there too. So yeah. if you hear a riff that you like, you know, you know, what band was that? Well, it'll tell you where to go and check out, you know, the, you know, all their music or buy their music or whatever. Go out and purchase the stuff. Check it out. Yeah. Do that. So, yeah, definitely uh, check all that stuff out. We were talking about Pecan before we, uh, Pecan yeah. and, and the Wisp before we. Uh, we went out to the yeah. great state of Ohio last weekend. We did our Ohio tour last weekend. Yes. And, and it was amazing. We, we, uh, obviously, we drove down to Dayton mm-hmm. for Pecan, mm-hmm. the. Uh, First annual, hopefully it'll be an annual uh, Prodigy group yeah. convention. Yeah. Uh, fantastic. What a venue. They found this place. It's like in the middle of the woods or something, but it was phenomenal. Well, it was, was fraternal, hands down. Yeah, yeah the Fraternal, fraternal Order of Police. Police. Yep, yep. Uh, what a nice hall. I loved the venue completely. The people were, well, uh, I can sum it up in two words, James Willis. Yeah, uh, uh, that was so good seeing James again. Absolutely top notch. Um, I I was just way impressed, and you should see. Uh, he brought um this equip well his group you know the, the yeah. Ohio group Ghost right? of Ohio Ghost of Ohio mm-hmm. brought this amazing stuff. It's all this scientific equi- scientific equipment that plugs into like a master brain controller that plugs into a laptop. You can see in real time. All kinds of measurements about your environment that you're ghost hunting. We got to look at that for a few minutes, and yeah, I was just, yeah, I was floored. Yeah, I was absolutely floored. It was amazing. Mm-hmm. Temperature sensors, 
Uh, you can hook up to, like, I, I think it was about eight different things at a time, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. So, essentially, if you get, like, if you have two things, obviously, you would hook two things up, right? If you have 15 things, you would hook eight up at a time. So, what you would do is you would um, choose your arsenal of measurements that you want to record yeah. based on the, the the place that you'll be investigating. Mm-hmm. What a phenomenal thing. It had, you know, temperature sensors. It had gravity sensors. It actually measured differences in the Earth's gravity <laughs> very, very accurately. Mm-hmm. It had, I, I don't even remember them all. I, I really don't. It was very conclusive, uh, or I should say very detailed. Mm-hmm. Oh, and yeah. It was all set up to one master brain. It was just, it was wicked. Right. It all plugs into this master brain thing, and then it that hooks into the computer, and the software just shows you. And what kind of software was it, dude? I have no idea. I'm sure it comes with, you know, the master brain. We can get, we'll get more information on that. The, I, I would I would say, you know, Google Ghosts of Ohio and look on their site and see if they've got anything yeah, about go to, this. Yeah, because, you know what? I can get and right if now. James Wills is giving a, uh, doing conventions and stuff, Go to the convention. You've got to see this equipment. Well, you know what? I know for one place... It doesn't will... quite ghost hunt for you, but it's really close. I know one, <laughs> I know one place that James Willis is going to be for sure, and that's going. That's ghostofohio.org. You can go to that. Oh, ghostofohio.org. Yeah, that's, uh, that's James Willis' uh, site and his, his, his thing he's got going there. I know one place he's going to be at for sure is going to be the Mothman Festival. That's, that's in the Oh, camp. that's true. So, that's true. And he'll be bringing, I'm pretty sure he'll be bringing all that stuff with him. Again. I hope so. Um, so, yeah, definitely uh, check that out. Uh, he'll definitely... Definitely at the Mothman Festival too. So yeah, I got to enjoy all the speakers. Now, uh, one point of note on that too, uh, we captured all the all the all the discussions. Oh, even the one that I didn't do. Yeah, great. Which I haven't listened to that yet. It's got to be hilarious because you got paged right before it was time for us to go do our discussion. Right. Um, Jason said something like, "Okay, it's uh, 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 ten minutes." Ten minutes, and I'm yep, like, oh, yep. Amber, come on, come on, let's go outside. Mm-hmm. So we were stuck, and beep, 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 my pager goes off. Yeah, and you're right, and you're like, I can't do it. I have to go to work. I'm like, well, I can handle it. That's fine. It no was problem. the P1. I had to go do it. That's the top priority of jobs, right? Yep, yep. So I go out, and I did my P1. I came in, and you were in the middle of things, and you were answering questions, and I said, well, I want to talk about time track. Because they yeah, just kind of blew in there with your pager in your hand going, look, sorry, guys, I was working, and yeah. I'm back now. And and I thought I was back for good for the rest of the discussion. Yeah, I, yeah. I want to talk to these people about time travel. I want to know their thoughts, right? Because, you know, Jonathan and I... Uh, yeah, well, we got into that a little bit, too. And yeah. we were talking about... And and I started in on the story, and my pager goes off again. So I'm like, Scott, you yeah. have to finish my story. Goodbye! And and I just, I'm sure we got this all on tape, too. You're like, oh, I got page again. I got to go. I'm like, okay, bye, Doug. So you can <laughs> I took up, and while I was doing yeah, that page, yeah. I got another page. So oh, I had to God. do two things then. Well, yeah. And I came back in, and you were done with mm-hmm. the speech, and uh, James was, was it James after you? I think it was. Yeah. It, he was after you, and he was talking about, you know, Weird Ohio. Weird, and yeah. Everything weird, which is, that's what James, oh, James Willis good, is. Oh, good, good, good presentation. Far none, one of the finest you know, speakers. Yes, yes. In the field of the paranormal Absolutely. or whatever you want to call Absolutely. it, uh, if you if you get a chance to see James Willis speak um, anywhere and give a presentation, jump at that enthusiastically because I guarantee I guarantee you you will not be disappointed. He is one of the most interesting yeah. and one of the most fun speakers to watch. You know, just just to see, and we've seen a lot of them. Yeah. Know, so, and I always well, he I, changes it up too. Well, I get, I've seen him, I've seen him do some them. of the same ones, and I still enjoy it because it's it's such you know, cool stuff. Um, Hmm. I wish I had a pen, because I, I want to ask you a question, but I don't know if on the air is the right time. Um, there you go. There's your pen. Uh, <laughs> what is this crap? We're gonna, let's see. This is secretive. <laughs> oh, no, we're not. No, 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 no. Are we going to talk about that? Because no, I wanted no. to ask you about that, because I didn't ask you about it on nothing Sunday. Happened, nothing happened with that. Oh, okay. So it was a total no-show on both. Yeah, we're, we're over. Really? It's all good. No, 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 okay. no, no. It's, it's much more in-depth than that, and... By doing this, it will, will, everybody hates us already. I don't want them to hate us anymore. <laughs> so, no, so I have to I have to take my hat off to the Prodigy Paranormal Group. They did. They put on a fantastic event. Oh, uh, it was phenomenal. It was so, they, food. Oh, they took some uh, do you know how many, um, uh, do you know how much fun a paranormal convention with uh, nachos and cheese is? <laughs> Absolutely incredible. I thought, I thought, oh, you know, there's, there's no place for this, but I sort of skipped. You know, I, I mean, I had like usually these things breakfast. you don't have time to eat. I you thought, know? well, I'm just gonna go get a nacho and cheese. 
Mm-hmm. By the end of the day, I got three of them. I, I just yeah. ate nachos and cheese pretty much all day. I, I broke my diet cookies. just a little bit. I had a couple of cookies. and I had. A they had those those big cookies, yeah, too. Right? I, I shouldn't have any of that. Yeah, but I, I took it easy. But, yeah, they took care of us 100%, and, and it was such a great time. So we want to thank those guys just a, a million times over for, for always being so great to us, and they're dear friends of ours. It too. was a wonderful convention. You and I have been talking, and, and while the, the big conventions are a lot of fun. Yeah, right? they are. And, yeah. and they're awesome. We get to see everybody. They bring in, you know, big-name people. They bring in the... You know, the uh, an awesome organized yeah. feel to everything. Well, there so, is something about the smaller conventions as well. Yeah. I, I I really have a place in my heart for conventions. I said that when I was speaking. When you were out in the truck, I actually mentioned that. Like, there's two types of conferences. Yeah. There's the big ones that have the big, you know, you know the big names. Or right, big productions. It, you know, and, and, and then, while well, they're cool, too, I mean, there are the smaller ones, which I love just as much. I, I have a soft spot in my heart for the, for the, 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 the you know, a group that puts on their convention because, yeah. you know, I had gone out on my own time, not as a member of Ghostly Talk, not as a, mm-hmm. just as a, Fellow ghost hunter, mm-hmm. I went out to the Southern Wisconsin one in Janesville, yeah. Wisconsin. Yep. That was, what, two or three years ago now. It was a while ago. And I loved it. They did such a phenomenal job. Uh, they had that robot thing. I talked about it on the air. Go go and look for it in the archives. They had that robot with some sensors on it that they could just, like, drive around in a haunted location, which I thought was really cool. Mm-hmm. And, and then, of course, now I saw... The next edition, I said, as a matter of fact, I said that to, um, oh, who was the scientist guy? Was his name Mark? I forgot it. That's, I feel Mark. bad, too. I thought I, I don't know. Anyway, he, I, I said to him, I said, you know, if you mounted all this on a, on a, on like a remote control truck or something, it would be like the one from Wisconsin. Yeah. Only, you know, it'd have a laptop on it. Go, me. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but it was the coolest thing. And, um, yeah, that's the thing. You get all these gems at these little tiny yeah. conferences. And I would say that that has the potential. Uh, that Absolutely. To, you know, I I don't know if I'd ever want to see them grow to the magnitude, you know, of, of a humongous conference because there are already mm-hmm. humongous conferences. I like smaller. I, yeah. I, I like them, but the smaller conferences have a soft spot in my heart for because I just had such a phenomenal time. Well, some of the people we met there, well, I, I need to mention, too, that uh, I did, like I said a second ago, we did capture all these presentations. They're going to be yeah. going up. I'm yeah. going to shoot to get those done this week. This was just a crazy week. The we big foot hunter guy from Ohio. Yeah. Absolutely fascinating. Fantastic. Yeah, and it's all captured. We're going to put all that stuff up for sure for people to check out. You know, the usual download for free. There were some gentlemen there from a group called Miami's Town Ghost Tours. Mm. Um, and I want—I bought a map from them. I wanted to—I sh- wanted to shout this out. I wanted to shout this out to these guys because what they have going on, um, basically, and I'll, I'll just quote what they. What oh, they, cool. What they have. You are invited to join Miami's Town Ghost Tours at the Miami Historical Society of Whitewater Township in Miami Town, Ohio. I assume for the release of Haunted Cincinnati and Southwest Ohio. Doors will open at 7 p.m. for free refreshments and a chance to meet the authors and members of Caper Cincinnati Air, Air, Area Paranormal Existence. Re- Research. That's a long one. Um, <laughs> the authors will be giving a short presentation, then allowing you to get your own copy of Haunted Cincinnati and Southwest Ohio autographed. Okay, cool. Uh, did they put a date on here? No. You better go to MiamiTownGhostTours.com. Yeah, what the heck? Man? Let me, let me, I mean, I just took that and just kind of slapped it on here real quick, but I thought I had a date, too. Let me, let me get the date. I'm pretty sure, you know what? I think, hang on, we'll get it up here. Let's see here. Let's see. This is it area. is on... Um, Oh, God. I don't get it. Here's right here. Oh, yes. Oh, that's right. June 13th. Yes. Yeah, June 13th. Friday, June. Friday the 13th. Whoa. Yeah, Friday, June 13th. Let me make sure. Is that Friday the 13th? No, it isn't. That's Saturday. No, it's June 13th they're going to be doing this thing. Yeah. No, Sorry. Friday the 13th is the yeah, one in November. They've got something yeah, else going on. Yeah, yeah, June, yeah, June 13th. 13th. This is a free event. Open to the public for full details. You know, go to so it's this upcoming Saturday. This coming, if yeah. you've got nothing going on this uh, this weekend, yeah. head down to the Cincinnati area. Yeah, if you're, out, if you're out in that area or even if you want to come out there, the, the website is www.miamitownghosttours.com. Uh, there's actually a number, too, 513-807-7195. Those guys were really cool, and I want to make sure I got that out to, and it would help those guys out any way we can. they got a great thing going on, and um, yeah, go out there and yeah, meet up with those guys. Check out check out what they have going on. Definitely. MiamiTownGhostTours.com. So, yeah, Prodigy Conference was awesome. Had, a, had oh, yeah. an absolute riot. We shot from there real quick, and we got out to uh, out to Mansfield. That's where Doug passed out. 
Yeah, pretty much. I went to Mansfield for a few hours and did some did some uh, did some volunteering to help out. Oh, do you know what I forgot to to mention? Yeah, on, uh, before I left for uh, to go down to uh, Dayton for Pecan. Yeah, I stopped to get my oil change because I needed my oil change actually from bef- like the trip that we were on before that. You stopped to get an oil change? Yeah, and I needed to get an oil change, so I stopped and got an oil change, and uh, and the guy said at that point he goes, oh. Your battery is like almost dead. You mentioned dead. this, yeah. Absolutely almost dead. You need a new battery. Do you want one for 100 bucks? And I'm like, no, I need to just ask my dad because I know nothing about cars other than you get in them. Sometimes you have to feed it gas, right? And, <laughs> um, so I, you know, I, I said, no, I have to talk to my dad. So immediately after pulling out, I call my dad. He goes, well, you know, that batteries last like four, maybe five years. Mm-hmm. And that battery is like going on eight or nine. Yeah. You do need a new battery. And I'm like, oh. so I called Craig and Craig was going to go shopping for me. And, and he mm-hmm. did. He found a place. But I, um, the, so that entire weekend though. You were sitting on a battery that could go dead at any time. I was sick. I was like, oh my gosh, I could like go in, put my key in the car and turn and it and it would just over. not work. And so, yeah, I was really, really, you know, on edge about my battery all weekend. But <laughs> but it did make it to Dayton, and then from Dayton to, uh, you know, it, it made it all the way to... All the way home. All the way, all home, the way and home, then, and then finally to the shop to yeah. get a new battery. Well, the worst thing we came in kind of late on, obviously, we were, we were, I was there for the investigation, and I lasted until about 1, one thirty. I was passed out. We went back and crashed out, too. We came back in the morning. And did a little bit of evidence review with some people. Yeah. Um, and we just got to hang out with everybody that was there. We didn't really, we weren't really, we were kind of part, but not kind of part of the conference. Right. And it we got to meet up with everybody, Steve Lachance, uh, Tim and Trish Yanti. Oh, so good to see Gowan was again. there. It was really great to see Gowan. Um, just all of our buddies from around the way. Um, it was good to see everybody. Keith H. was there. I could talk to him for a few minutes. That was uh, incredible. Yeah, it was great to see everybody and hang out with them. So, you know, it was worth driving out there just to say hi to everybody and go, go to Cracker Barrel and have breakfast. That's what yes. we ended up doing. Yes, so. pretty much. Now, um, so, yeah, it was really cool. And Jackie Carpenter, thanks for having us out there also. Jackie was in charge of WISP. Thank you for, for letting us come out there and hang. Uh, it was a great time also. So, but again, I want to mention we're going to have those uh, presentations up this week sometime. I'll have that taken care of for you, you know, for you guys as quick as I can. Just it shouldn't be that difficult. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I'll get it up as fast as I can. A couple other things. We only got a few minutes here. I want to mention a couple other things. Uh, Robbie Thomas actually contacted me about the passport thing. You know, we've talked about this thing about crossing the border. Yeah, yeah. And this is for the Can-Am Paracon. It started June first. I mean, it's seven days old. This new rule. Yeah. Well, the Can-Am Paracon that we're referring to, which is in Sarnia, Canada. Robbie, you know, I told Robbie, like, well, they have this new passport card thing, which I, ha- I actually got, I purchased it. I have a passport card yeah. now, along with my driver's license. And I spent, like, I think I think I mentioned it on the air, it's about 60 bucks at the end of the day to get it all done, which is still a lot cheaper than a passport, right? But Robbie well, my said, actual passport was about 127 inches. Yeah, so it's half the yeah. cost, right? Yeah. So, uh, and that can get you down to Mexico. It's a 10 year. It's a 10, 10 years, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. It can get you down to Mexico. That can get you into Canada. It can get you anywhere like in the United and get you Rico, Anywhere on the yeah. continent, it can get you there, right? Yeah. So, but Robbie actually sent me something here that I thought But not to Australia. Me. I can go to Australia. You can't. Well, I can't go to Australia, no. I don't want to go to Australia. I right? do. I want to go to Australia really bad. I also want to go to uh, England and Scotland to see Loch Ness Monster. Mm-hmm. And that's about it. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Um. And other places, but, you know, that's all I can think of. Yeah. Okay, so, so all right, your card gets you anywhere in North America. Well, yeah, but Robbie sent me this thing. Um, <coughs> the link is getyouhome.gov, www.getyouhome.gov. Um, and basically what they're saying here, okay, uh the documentation there? You don't necessarily need to have a passport. There's other document, documentation y- you can use, and you can, you can do that at getyouhome.gov. Uh, basically, um, WHTI documents for land and sea travel include U.S. And Cana- or, or Canadian passport, obviously, trusted traveler card, U.S. passport card, state or provincial 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 uh, enhanced driver's license, and when and where available. So I guess there's some other things you can use here. I mean, there's more details at getyouhome.gov, but that's just some more information if you th- you're thinking about going to the uh, the Can-Am Paracon in August. Um, go to this website, and there may be some ways to get well, around this stuff. Yeah. I don't know. It, well, it is it is time, right? It's time. People have to go get if, – if you want to do any traveling, you have to go get your credentials, which, by the way, 
reminds me very, very, very much of Nazi Germany. I'm sorry, <laughs> uh, and and of and of Soviet Russia. I mean, it when you know when Russia was communist, and all I can picture, all I can picture is some you know guard at a at like a toll booth looking yeah. thing, a car pulling up, and the guard saying papers for me, <laughs> right? And and that's all I can picture when when I when I well they better not give me a that. bunch of crap now. I actually got the car and all that stuff, and oh they still ask you all kinds of questions. Oh that's such crap. They, where do you work? That that's my favorite one. Where do you work? Yeah, I'm like, what are you going to call my boss? I mean. Not to bring a resume now. I should tell him. Uh, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna bring my resume because if I'm still looking for a new, you know, I'm still obviously working on that. Could thing you right submit now. this? Yeah. yeah. I'll go look. Okay, I'm not unemployed right now, but I don't want you to think, make that. I, you know, something they don't idiot. ask you going. Here's, go, here's my resume. This is all the stuff I've done. And they do. don't ask you going into Canada. Then they they ask you the the normal things. Do you have anything to declare? What is your purpose? You know that kind of thing. They ask you the normal. Yeah. What you would expect at a border crossing, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Coming back in the U.S., where do you work? Yeah, where do you live? Where do your family live? Where, where, you know, I mean, they, they, they like get really, really, really insanely personal, and I'm like, eh, something's wrong with that. No fun. But no, the the entire situation completely reminds me of you know my vision as a child of uh, Soviet Russia or you know the USSR, mm-hmm. right? And the papers and the documents and et cetera, et cetera, and also Nazi Germany. That is what all of this reminds me of, and and it, it sickens me. It absolutely sickens me. Just but, paying the foot. You know, just being me. There's not that much I can do, so I went and got a passport. I want a passport anyway because I wanted to. Get, I got my know, passport if I ever card, do travel, so I do want them. Yeah, I have my passport card, so that'll get me somewhere. Thirteenth annual Haunted American Conference. Got to start yeah. mentioning this now too, because it's just in a couple of weeks. Yeah. Okay. Uh, as you it's guys, it's only in a couple of weeks. Couple of weeks. <gasps> when? June nineteenth through twentieth. What the hell? Oh, boy? I can't wait. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know, I'm just going to link everybody, all the listeners. Hey, if you have a Google account, okay, if you have a, G- a Gmail account, let me know. I'll link you up to our schedule, okay? And then what I want you to do is start sending Doug email, start emailing Doug about all the stuff we have coming up. <laughs> Will that work? Yeah, June 19th and through 20th, 2009, Decatur, Illinois, is the haunted Lincoln Theater always. Troy Taylor always, you know, is so good to us all out there. And we're going to be out there for sure on uh, the lucky 13th. Lucky 13. Uh, yes, the Lucky 13. 2009 Haunted America Conference is coming up. They got some cool speakers this year. Of course, Troy is going to be there. Our buddy Patrick Burns is going to be there. Nick Redfern is somebody who I've wanted to meet for a very long time. Uh, we're going to have an opportunity to meet him there. Leslie Rule, uh, not familiar with her, but hope, looking forward to seeing her too. Uh, Drew Hester and Bob Honeycutt. We've had Bob on the show before. Really cool guy. A lot of fun. Got to see him in Louisville uh, last year. Craig Telesha, uh, Strange Frequencies. Uh, Derek Bartlett. Oh, I have that. his book. Craig Telesha? Yeah. Oh, cool. Derek Bart- um, what's it? Uh, uh, Rosemary Ellen Guiley, I think, had said, oh, my God, you've got to get this book. It's oh, cool. Yeah. Derek Bartlett's going to be there. Oh, we wow. All, we all know and love Derek Bartlett. Yeah. Len Adams and Luke Nalaborski, which you are too. <laughs> oh, they are. They are oh, you know Bonnie is going to go insane if the Red Wings win. Oh, God, On yeah. Tuesday. It's going to get ugly. It's going to be right. ugly because the very first time that she met uh, uh, Luke, yeah. Was she was in this big Red Wings shirt or something? It was just uh, it was a hoot. Dale Kazmarek's going to be there also. Awesome. Um, and finally, definitely not the least, Ken Berg, our buddy, the side chicken. <laughs> side chicken. Psychic Ken. Psychic Ken. Chicken. Ken. Yeah. Uh, Ken. Ken's the absolute man. Uh, the Spectre Men are going to be there. They were there last year playing, which was they were a great band to check out. Uh, also, it's going to be uh, Ghostology is going to be there. Another radio show. Uh, Brian and Anne, Anna Marie. I've actually talked to them before. Really cool people. The Ghost Divas Live are going to be there also. And I think there's going to be some, I think we're discussing this, there's going to be some type of broadcast going on. Still got to figure it out, though. <laughs> but we're going to be doing some stuff with those guys. But it is going to be a really cool event. Every, Troy, you, if there's any conference you should go to throughout the year, you should go to uh, the Haunted America Conference, which is Troy Taylor's conference. Uh, I, I, can, I We can never recommend it enough. It's always a good time, and you always learn. See, Troy goes above and beyond to make sure he gets the best speakers for his conference, and he always has yeah. the most educational things he can have from all different gamuts of the paranormal, not just ghost hunting and stuff like that. You're going to learn a lot about cryptozoology. Uh, you name it. It's going to be out there. So definitely check that out. I think the tickets are only... Troy's are always cheap too. It's a thing. Uh, it's for the whole weekend. It's only sixty bucks per person, which is yeah. really cheap actually for what you know all the stuff that's going on this weekend. Um, 
And, you know, we're going to be there in full force doing our usual thing, too. So if you want to just come and hang out with us, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> we're going to well, be there. Well, the thing is, the, these conferences, um, I, I would I would call this one a medium-sized conference. Uh, it's got the best of both. It's yeah. got the the you know it's got the re- it's got really interesting people. Plus it's it's got you know the numbers of of uh, you know um, paranormal enthusiasts. Uh, plus it's got the small town feel, and it's in the haunted Lincoln Theater. Yeah. And I all you got to do is talk to Bonnie, and say tell me a story about the haunted Lincoln Theater, and she she experienced paranormal phenomena or well. Phenomena that she could not explain, yeah. right? Uh, that I think was just totally outrageously paranormal. But you know, she she's like, I I can't explain it. You know, uh, it, it's a haunted Lincoln Theater, and yeah. it's there. It's physically in that, and you it should not you should not miss this event. event. I, I I'm with you 100 percent on all that, and yeah, you should not miss that. Last thing that needs to be brought up here, and all the stuff we've been talking about, David Carradine. Can you freaking yes. be, freaking believe this? No. No, 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 and I don't. Thankfully want to enough, we, thankfully enough, we only have one minute, so we can't really get into it. <laughs> but I, I grew up with David Carradine, yeah. Kung Fu. Yeah, I've seen about all of his films. Yeah. So all I want to say about that is rest in peace, David Carradine. I mean, I all respect to him. Yes. It was a real. Amber called me about that on Friday or Thursday and said, "Did you hear about David Carradine?" And I'm like, "Oh my god!" You know, I, it totally knocked the wind out of me. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I don't know if you guys have heard about that or not. Um. Well, let's you can go they, on. The, yeah, go on the web and find other details. They don't suspect foul play. No, they don't. <laughs> suspect. Rest in. You know that ticket to hell you had. Yeah. <laughs> I'm redeeming it. Just, it, now. it just got stamped. Yeah. <laughs> no, all respect to David Carradine. Yeah. Uh, and it was a real bummer for me. I love kung fu and you know. I, Fly high grasshopper, that's all I can say. I mean, yeah. I, 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 I'm really bummed about that. But rest in peace, David Carradine. Let's take a break here. Uh, yeah, we're going to talk to... God, I'm going to wait. That's a hell of a way to end a segment, too, by the way. Uh, Jason Offit. Jason Offit's going to be... Yeah. He, well, he hasn't been here in a while. No. He's got a new book out, and we're going to talk about that. A lot of good stuff. Marshall Ma- Masters is going to be here later on. we got a fun show planned for you guys. This is Ghostly Talk. I'm Scott Allen. And I'm Doug. We'll be right back after this. <laughs> 